Hi you guys, I want you to paint just the mirror section from this movie. I want it to be a preliminary um, project prior to you entering the product, the final product. It's going to give you um, a lot of confidence in order to go ahead from this point. I'm going to turn off my Brian finish movie here and you can go through the layer process. But what I've done is I've broken it down into a set of layers that I have actually painted here. I'll take them off as um, you're just looking. So you can see there's a red layer, there is the um, down below the black layer, I'll put that back on. You can see how I've got a little bit of value off to the one side here. I'm going to go add and put these two lines back in, then the red comes back in, then the horizon pink, the horizon white, the left dark, and then there's a little highlight area that actually looks really beautiful over here. And I might even add this little dot that you see in color here. But turn mine off. This is what I want you to do. This isn't about selections and paths and channels and all that, because um, you can get that from the first movie. I'll announce what I've done, kind of, okay? Um, I have several of these already drawn in here for you, obviously, and I'm going to go in and make a selection of the lower black. Uh, let me shift click that off. And I'm going to turn on the clicky copy so you can see what I have. I'm going to grab the B key and I'm just going to fill that up with black on the bottom. So let me turn this off and just hit option delete and fill that up with black. Now I'm going to click right to the red layer so you can see that I can block the mirror in very quickly. It's what I want you to do. So I'm going to grab the red mirror right there which I made from an intersection of stuff that was up here okay so you can just click on them and you can kind of figure it out but let me grab the B key the option key and grab the red and hit option delete now I've given myself a bunch of layer masks we're gonna utilize those uh, what I'm gonna do first is finish off the bottom I've made um, a path that is the highlight path right here and you can again figure out how I did that from two of these I subtracted one from the other as a matter of fact I'll show you very quickly I subtracted this one and I moved it with the M marquee tool and the cursor keys for that one then I left this one selected and I subtracted the lower one to get that line then I intersected it to get rid of the left and right material from the overall entire mirror and you can see how I got it but I'll leave that selected I'm gonna click on to the upper gray number one highlight layer I'll go up there I'll actually go down here and I'll go inside there and I'll turn on the clicky copy and I'll grab that color and I'll lighten up on it just a touch just like this now let me go back on it so you can see it go in sorry about that let's get a little closer and let me hit command H and make sure I'm on the layer and option delete now I'm gonna turn off the clicky copy so you can see that go in of course it's too bright that's all right that it's too bright I'm gonna kill it or take away some of the um, Gaussian after I Gaussian blur it I'll remove it on the layer mask well, let me turn that off click back on the smaller highlight and I want to hit command H so you can see what I'm gonna do right here I want to thin down a highlight a little bit more so I'm gonna to go to select modify contract I'm gonna contract it by one pixel now I'm gonna fill it with the same thing maybe even a little bit of a brighter value so let me move back so I can get all of this on the screen and now let me hit command H am I on the right layer yes let's grab just a little bit of a lighter value right there and let's go option delete now I'm gonna deselect and I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna click back on the other image right there and I'm gonna Gaussian blur it so let's go to select I'm sorry filter blur Gaussian blur and let's Gaussian blur that like by two pixels now I'm gonna turn it off let's go to the top one let's click on it and hit command F which is to repeat the last Gaussian blur okay now I turn that off let's click back on the image on the lowers layer mask and look up there I'll make the brush bigger and now I'll use black at 4% and watch me kill this part of it when I say kill I mean reduce the amount of paint that's there until your eyes tell you that you have reduced it enough now I'm gonna leave the highlight just a little bit bigger because I have artist license now what I want to do is I want to lighten up on that center area just a little bit more okay now I took away just a little bit too much let me hit the X key and put some back on let me turn this one off and turn this one on this one's thinner let me click on the layer mask and reduce this all the way on the layer mask let me hit the X key and paint it completely out on the layer mask right here I only want a little bit of this highlight to show right here 
so I'm going to remove it a little bit more from here. So I only want that highlight to be real prominent right there. When I blend the two together, they like they look quite nice. Mine's a little bigger than this one up here, and that's okay. I kind of like mine. I'm now going to put a little bit of light gray up here. So I have a layer for that. It's called the gray upper. If I make a selection of the bottom half again, and I hit Command H, I can go grab that color. So I'll kind of grab this color that's right nearby, and I'm going to paint a little bit of value right up there to lighten up on that little area right there. Now, on the layer mask, I want to reduce it. So I'm going to hit Command H so you can see what I was painting in. I'm going to deselect it. I didn't have to hit Command H. I just wanted you to see I was painting within a selection. Now, if I click to the layer mask, I can make the brush smaller and I can reduce the black over here and reduce the black over there. Now, what I didn't do prior to this was when I made this black on the bottom, this is not fuzzy enough of an edge. So I'm going to turn off these three gray layers. I should have done this before, but that's okay. I'm going to click back to the image, and I'm going to Gaussian Blur at six pixels, making sure there's no selection active. So I go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, by six pixels. You can see now, if I turn off the red layer above it, I've made it way too blurry. This is beautiful over here, but it's way too blurry all around the outer edge. So, I go back to the overall shape, which is right there. Actually, it's right... I lost it. It's right there. Okay, now I'm going to inverse it. And now I'm going to get rid of the fuzz that's around the outer side. So let me put this on about 6 on the flow. Let me hit Command H. Let me make sure I inversed it. I did. Now let's go hit Command H. I'm going to paint in black on the layer mask and we're going to reduce this so it's a sharper edge here. Now I have to go over here and reduce the sharper edge here. Now I want to make sure that you understand something because this there's a miss right there and I'm gonna let you see the miss if I hit command H I'm gonna go back to the original selection that I used to make that bottom shape with which was this one right there I'm now going to paint if I hit command H I'm gonna paint black back on the image so I'm gonna make the brush bigger and I'm gonna paint black back on the image I didn't have black in my brush now I do I'm going to paint black back on the image to um, refill. It's like Gaussian Blur to the most of it, layer mask to the least of it, and then go back in and fix your interior shape. Now, I have to do the same thing here. This black has to be filled back in because Gaussian Blurring took away some of it. Now, look how I have Gaussian Blur on this side, layer mask to the least of it on this side, and a couple little fixes. But all of that occurred on the same layer. Now let me put those three layers back on with the red layer. Let's click back up to the pink. I have the horizon already done for the pink. Let me hit Command H and hit the B key, make it slightly bigger, and grab this color. Now what I should do is paint with the clicky copy on. Paint on the horizontal pink layer, but leave the clicky copy on so I can position the color where it's supposed to go. Now let me put this right down here like that. And now let's turn the clicky copy off. You can see that I have done just a marvelous job, kind of, in laying in where that pink is supposed to go. And if I've gone too far with it, which I don't think I have, let's make it a little bit bigger and put a little bit across the top like theirs is right there. Now we need white. I'm also going to put a little bit of pink along this back edge, just a little bit. Now, if I wanted to sharpen it up, which I don't really have to, I could click on the layer mask, make the brush smaller, and just give this a little bit of black clicking across this to sharpen that up. Let's click up to the white now. Let's turn the um, clicky copy on. Let's grab the white and move a little closer in. If I make the brush smaller, I can actually put the white exactly where the white is supposed to go. I'm painting, I don't even have a layer mask on this, so I'm painting on the canvas. Now, I've got enough white, let's make the brush slightly bigger, I've got enough white to know where I'm supposed to be. So now look at how nice I put that in there. Let's make sure that's nice and white. I don't think that's nice and white. 
So now let's brighten that up a little bit, okay, and bring it back just a little bit. Now, there's a little bit more white in this bottom corner, so I'll make the brush slightly bigger and hit a little bit more white in the corner. Again, if you go too far, don't worry about it. You have a layer mask. Well, I don't have a layer mask yet, so I'll Command D the selection, add the layer mask, make the brush smaller, and let's see how, see how this top is a little bit cut off like that? Well, let's go up here and let's turn on the clicky copy and let's just run the black right along this edge just like that to kind of cut off some of the white that I put in originally. And now I have a nice shine spot right on that. It's a little bit too wide out here, so I'll make the brush bigger and I'll take away some of the white by going into here like that. Now, I've reduced it beautifully. I kind of like mine very much, and now all we have to do is click up to the dark red, go over here, and find my, my shape that's there. Make sure I have selected onto the red. Let's grab that dark red in the corner and make it slightly darker red. Now, I'm painting only at 6, but I'll hit Command H, and now let's give this thing dimension by running the dark red around this edge, just like that around the bottom just a little bit, back up like that, and then if I make the brush slightly smaller, I can just tickle the edge by coming around the edge with the dark. So I've taken what was flat and I've given it quite a nice little variation in tone. And that's not a bad rendition of that. The last thing left to do is this little light area. So let's click up to the um, layer. Let's go grab that color. If I zoom in and grab that color and make it slightly lighter in tone. All I have to do is add, a, um, add the shape. Now I've gone in and I've taken that shape right here and I'm gonna show you it's right there. Nope, it's, two, it's one lower. It's this one right there and then if I take that one, look at the clicky copy, I can go back up and subtract this one from it. So I now, instead of having, you know, I moved the selection over, then I subtracted the interior one from it. Now this is what I wanted to show you. If I hit the L key for lasso, I can actually go in and use a lasso as a means of option clicking and subtracting out from a selection. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Look at how I'm going around like this. Now, if I turn this off, meaning the clicky copy, hit Command H and Option Delete, you'll see it go in much, much, much too harsh. That's okay. That's the nature of Gaussian Blur it to the most of it, layer mask to the least of it. So let's deselect. Let's go to Gaussian Blur. I don't want a Gaussian Blur at six pixels, but let's go to Gaussian Blur and let's go to three pixels. And now I have a pretty good Gaussian Blur right in that area. Now all I really have to do is just kind of click to the layer mask and remove most of what I've put in. So if I can just zoom in on the screen, I'm gonna finish this whole movie while um, I'm painting. So I'm gonna tell you, um, please do this one prior to you finishing, um, actually even getting, I'm sorry, finish this one prior to you even getting into your product. I wanna see how you handle this mirror with the items that I've cut, uh, meaning the um, selections that I've made and the paths that I've made and then Use, utilizing, of course, this movie. Now look at how I'm sculpting that to actually sculpt right down to this edge. It's a little bit too bright. So let's just go in and just kill it a little bit right there, and then let's kill it right there. Now I'm gonna click one more layer higher. I'm gonna name it Highlight, and I'm going to um, go right over here and turn on the clicky copy. I wanna show you something cool. I'm gonna go down in size to that little dot. I'm gonna go grab a white. Now watch how I can hold the dot in position. If I click a couple of times right now, one, two, three, and I go over to here, you can see where that dot was. If I go one, two, three, make the brush smaller, four, five, six, make the brush smaller, seven, you can see how I've got a beautiful little diffused dot. And of course, if I've gone too far, all you have to do is just either remove a little bit of opacity from it just to kind of mush it right back in there 
and then if you wanted to you could throw a little red on top of it so I'll grab just a bit of red and I'll red it back right in there one two three right there let me get close so you can see what I'm doing I'll go throw a little bit more red in there there that's gorgeous and now there is that whole thing finished this is what I want you to do. I want you to practice with this mirror. I want you to kind of lay in the values so you get used to painting, you get used to layer masking, Gaussian blurring to the most of it, layer masking to the least of it. Go over this as many times as it takes and I will talk to you.